In this video, we're playing a bolero rhythm on congas, and I'm correcting an instructional mistake I made on the five conga patterns video. I'm Kevin Zahner, and welcome to Rhythm Notes. The bolero pattern I played on five conga patterns was not the traditional way to play bolero. I don't know what I was thinking when I taught it as a two-bar phrase. I guess it was a decision I made on the Bolero demo song for that video, and the breakdown was about that, but I should have stayed closer to the traditional way to play a Bolero, and I think one viewer called me out on it, and I'm, I'm thankful for that, because it's reminded me to focus more on pre-production aspects of what I upload for Rhythm Notes. <sighs> okay. Now that I've addressed that, let's look at how to play a bolero on congas. The bolero has two basic rhythms essential to the Cuban approach, the conga tumbao and the timbale pilas, which the timbale pilas is also a rhythm played by the maracas. I'm going to break down the basic conga, bongo, and timbale parts. The conga pattern is like basic tumbao, but instead of two open tones on the conga, it's three open tones starting with the tumba in a low, high, low pattern between the conga and tumba. If you want free lesson PDFs, subscribe to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com. You'll get a free gift when you confirm your subscription. The bongo pattern for bolero is martillo. You can also play it differently, like in this example. And all I really did there was add a little bit of that pilas part, that rhythm that the timbale is playing, to just support that stylistic feature. The pilas part can also be played a few different ways. Here's an example of a common way to play the pilas part for bolero. Like with the bongo part, you can vary the timbale pilas rhythm, like in this example in which bongo and timbales are playing the same rhythm. Mm -hmm. 